Today we're going to demonstrate how to utilize OpenShift container platform functionality to provide the function of a load balancer in front of two virtual machines running in front, inside OpenShift virtualization. For the demonstration purposes, we set up two virtual machines here that are both running web servers. Each web server has an index page that identifies which server it maps to. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a service. We can create an OpenShift service by going under networking, clicking services, and click create service. Within here, we can give our service a name. We'll call it the demo service. The next section is the selector. This selector is how it's going to identify which OpenShift resources that this service is sitting in front of. We're going to call this demo app here. Next are the two ports. Port 80 is, the port 80 here is what's the port that the service is listening on within our virtual machine that's going to be exposed. And then the target port is the port of the service that we're going to be fronting the web servers with. The important aspect here is your target port should be different for each of the different services you're going to be exposing outside of your cluster. So for now, we're just going to set this to target to 80 as well. So we're going to go ahead and create our service. As mentioned, the selector right here, the pod selector, is going to select the backend resources which the service is fronting. If we click this, it will show us what it will show us the list of resources. Right now we have no resources because we don't have that selector on any of the pods. Remember, with an OpenShift, everything is considered a container or a pod, and that is how it identifies how to map the resources. Each of your virtual machines within OpenShift actually runs in a pod. The pod name is visible here on the details page. The pod is an ephemeral pod. When, if we restart the virtual machine, this pod will change. So we can demonstrate this by clicking restart here. So the virtual machine is now stopped and a new pod is created. The services selector works on the pod labels. The labels that you see here are the labels within the virtual machine. You can add a label to the pod for the virtual machine by going into the YAML of the virtual machine, going down underneath the spec section, under the template, and labels. The labels that are listed here will persist back up to the pod. Oops. What's important to notice, note is that while we added the label to the YAML, it does not actually reflect back up in the pod until the virtual machine is restarted. We can confirm this by going to the services, going to the service, and checking the pod selector again. Notice there's no pod here. If we go back to our virtual machines, and we restart our virtual machine, it will show up there. While that's restarting, let's go ahead and edit the YAML for server B. It's also possible to add the selector to the label of the virtual machine here, as well as manually add it to the pod itself. This will, this will allow you to add the virtual machine into the service Without actually having to restart. So we, what we can do for server, so with server A restarted, if we go back over here and take a look, we now see server A is listed. If we go back to the virtual machines and we go to server B, what we can do is we can go to details, we can click on the pod for server B, we can edit it, and we can simply add the selector here. By adding it to the virtual machine and adding it here, it ensures that the service picks up the pod now without restarting the virtual machine, as well as when the virtual machine is restarted, the new pod gets the selector. So right now we have both server A and server B as our services here. The next thing we need to do is create a route. A route will allow us to get to the service from outside of the OpenShift cluster. So we can call this demo route. I'll we'll call it demo app, Keep, stay consistent. And we'll select our service, our demo service, and we're going to select the target ports. 
and we're going to go ahead and click create. What this will do is it creates a URL that's going to leverage the ingress of your OpenShift cluster to actually reach the virtual machines on port 80. So we can click this and we can see that it is now reaching server B. If I click refresh a couple times, it's going to look like it's staying on server B and that's simply because my browser is caching it. In order to demonstrate the, that it is actually round robining, we can utilize curl and hit the demo app uh, ingress URL of our route. As you can see here, it's round robining between server A and server B. Hopefully you can find this information useful and it will help you in creating load balancers to balance load on virtual machines. Thank you.